right, uh, so we, uh, that was a, a performance here there from Jidris and a great one there to kick off our Monday morning. We have motivation now. Did you see is back here, Marketing 101, why should they buy from you now? We've been talking about buying all this while up until now. Like I always do, very short recap of what we've spoken about so far up until now. All right, thank you for this opportunity. One of the things that we spoke about last week was that you must, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, do you have an audience that you call yours? An audience that you have access to? Okay. You must have one. Mm -hmm. Whatever is it, is it notepad of phone, phone calls, a notepad of emails, whatever it is, you must have your audience that you call yours. And secondly, we also mentioned the fact that you must be able to say to your audience that you are connected with them. And that's the best way to stand out. Mm. That's what we said last week. All right, so this week we're going to why did you buy from you now? All right, so what do you mean by that? What exactly are we trying to pass out now? All right, thank you for that. Let me start with this story. I went to Federal Government College, Janiki, Lagos, and closer to the end of the month, end of the session, there's what I call austerity. But there will be this odd guy that always has milk. There will be this odd guy that will always have Gary. There will be this odd guy that will always have Gary. One guy has nothing. He will go around and say, you have Gary? I know someone that has milk. I know someone that has sugar. Let's come together and we have fun. It comes with nothing else other than making offers to them. So this is what I'm saying to you. The core of your business is making offers and people accepting your offers. That is the core and the fundamentals of any business. Making offers and people mm. accepting your offers. So can you give us an example of the type of offers you're talking about right, here now? Thank, thank you for that. You're going to ask me, what's an offer? Let me define an offer by saying, it's an opportunity you create to your, ed, to your end audience, your prospects, mm. so they can say no or yes to what you are offering them. Let me say that again. Okay. An offer is an opportunity you create to your prospects already looking for a solution so they can say yes or no to what you're offering them. Okay. And that is the basics. So of give us business. a practical example. So that's what... All right. I remember doing trade, doing economics while we were in school, something called trade by butter. Mm. A man says, I have meat and you want fish. I can't make an offer because that doesn't work. But a man says, I want meat and I have meat. You have money. I say, take my meat and give me your money. Okay. That is an offer. I'm giving him an opportunity for him to buy meat from him. That is an offer. Okay. Whatever it is, I am an architect, and you want someone to draw your house for you. And I say, why don't you come to me and let me help you draw your house? That's an offer. I've given an opportunity to mm. buy from him. OK. And then what if they say no? What next? What's the next stage? How do you move it, in the process? Is there any other stage you well, move yeah, yeah. that? Just to be clear, an, an offer, a lot of people don't like to hear it. An offer, people must say yes, people must say no. Mm. But the point is, you must start to create opportunities for people to make that decision. That decision, yeah. One of the things I've seen over and over again, a lot of people have, they don't make enough offers. They don't make offers that are desirable. They, ne they don't make offers to people. And that is why your business is stalled. You must start to create the opportunities. And they're asking me now, how do you make your offers more desirable? That's the question. Okay. You make your offers more desirable by, by ensuring that it is more, des it is, your audience will look at it and say, he's speaking to what I already want. That is one. Secondly, do you launch your offers? Mm. You have an offer sitting down. Do you go out to your audience that we spoke about last week? Do you go okay. to them and say, why don't you consider this? Give them an opportunity to say yes or no. Oh, no. But not giving them an opportunity, they are quiet. Of course, there might be those old people that will come and say, oh, I think you might have what I want. Okay. But you must launch your offers. Okay. Finally, yeah. if you have great offers, you must find a way to promote it on a regular, boring, systematic way. Mm. For a lot of people, they think it's a one-hit wonder. I have this offer today, and I come to you and I say, do you want to consider this? You might say, oh, maybe yes or no. I do want, oh, you said no, I step back. Okay. But you must realize that your offer is much more than you. It's an act of service. So you're saying, can I help you solve this part of your life that you have a problem with? If the answer is no, it might be not now, but there's somebody else that might want your offer. Even if you know somebody else, it might not be the best time for that person. There'll be other times you want your offer, but you have to get into the habit of 
making offers to people, giving them that opportunity to say yes or no to what you have. Wonderful. I hope you're able to pick something there, making offers. That's our uh, uh, message for today. Thank you for coming. And uh, that's it. That's what we can take up motivation this morning. We'll take a time out now. Just stay with us when we are back. It's going to be SME.